of the National Guard, the Texas National Guard, that they're heading out to neighborhoods in the Dallas area. You know, Dallas is also a stay-at-home city. That was the order that was issued. Uh, the Dallas County Judge, Clay Jenkins, says he's sending out the Texas National Guard on a medical mission. And so what that means is they're going door to door to see who may have come in contact with a coronavirus patient. The judge stressed this is guard. Uh, the guards will not be there for law enforcement reason. So really, guys, it's just a way for the National Guard to go to you so that you don't have to go out to your doctor's office or overwhelm the uh, hospital emergency rooms. And Sally, you know, we here in Austin, it feels like we've been maybe one or two days behind Dallas when it's come to yes. the, you know, the bar bans, the restaurant bans, and then also the stay at home order. And so I wonder if we might eventually see that here in Austin as well. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully not, but social distancing, that should help, Tom. Exactly. We're all doing our part. Thanks, Sally. Okay. What's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. It's the 30th of March in the year 2020. And that's the mainstream news in Texas. In Texas, they're slow rolling everyone, getting everyone used to seeing troops on the ground. Do you see what I'm saying? They're coming to you so you don't have to go to the doctor and overwhelm them. Even though dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of people all over the world have gone to doctor's office, triage tents, and they're all empty. Okay? So let's start with that. They put up roadblocks. Trump extends social distancing guidelines again. Well, those guidelines are no big deal. Okay, okay, they're no big deal. Well, in Florida, they arrested a pastor for holding church services despite the stay-at-home order. Do you see what I'm saying? Arrested. In the western states where there's cowboys, where people have open carry, where people have weapons, they're running it slowly. First of all, there's a lot of space between towns. I can absolutely testify to that. I just did 200 miles right now from Mike's house, took a long ride, and went out and talked to people. There's nobody on the roads. Everybody is doing as they're told. Social distancing, people. And again, here's Dr. Fauci explaining why Trump extended the order. Now listen closely. America's top expert on infectious disease, Dr. Anthony Fauci. Dr. Fauci, thank you for your time this morning and for your tireless service over these last several weeks and, and years. Uh, as we heard from the president all last week, he was hoping that we could reopen the country by Easter, but of course, we saw that extension of the guidelines yesterday. Take us inside that decision. What convinced the president was necessary? What convinced you? Well, it was clear, George, that the dynamics of the outbreak, what was going on in cities like New York City and Westchester and New Orleans and others, was clearly still on an uptick. And to pull back the mitigation uh, methods before you reached the peak and turned and turned the corner, I think really would have been imprudent because that would have merely regenerated the spike to go up. So we had some intensive conversations with him and we convinced him, he listened, and we said the better part of valor would be to extend them until the end of April when we think it would peak and start coming down. I mean, these are all projections, but the thing we we're pretty sure of is that if we prematurely did it, it would likely rebound. And that's one thing you did not want to happen. So that's what Dr. Fauci is telling the mainstream. That's what he's telling America. But to his colleagues, who are all coming out right now saying, hey, COVID-19 is nothing. It's a mild flu. Well, Dr. Fauci, you know, this guy, just four days ago wrote in the New England Journal of Medicine. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's what doctors write articles to other doctors about. And in this article, the doctor wrote exactly what I've been telling you. COVID-19 may ultimately be more, of akin, more akin to a severe seasonal flu, which has a case fatality rate of approximately 0.1%. Not 1%, 0.1%. So he's telling America that we've got curves and we've got all these other wacky things going on and, you know, this, that, and the other thing. It sounds really familiar. Well, it was clear, George, that the dynamics of the outbreak, what was going on in cities like New York City and Westchester and New Orleans and others, was clearly still on an uptick. And to pull back the mitigation uh, methods before you reached the peak and turned and turned the corner, I think really would have been imprudent because that would have merely regenerated the spike to go up. Remember this old piece of propaganda used so successfully against American citizens? Because I do, and it's happening again. There are reports that there is no evidence of a direct link between Baghdad and some of these terrorist organizations. There are known knowns. There are things we know we know. 
Uh, we also know there are known unknowns. That is to say, we know there are some things we do not know. But there are also unknown unknowns. The ones we don't know, we don't know. But it was clear, George, that the dynamics of the outbreak, what was going on in cities like New York City and Westchester and New Orleans and others, was clearly still on an uptick. And to pull back the mitigation uh, methods before you reached the peak and turned and turned the corner, I think really would have been imprudent because that would have merely regenerated the spike to go up. So we had some intensive conversations with him and we convinced him, he listened, and we said the better part of valor would be to extend them until the end of April when we think it would peak and start coming down. I mean, these are all projections, but the thing we were pretty sure of is that if we prematurely did it, it would likely rebound, and that's one thing you did not want to happen. Knowns. There are things we know we know. We also know there are known unknowns. That is to say, we know there are some things we do not know. Prudent, because that would have merely regenerated the spike to go up. So we had some intensive conversations with him, and we convinced him, he listened, and we said the better part of valor would be to extend them until the end of April, when we think it would peak and start coming down. I mean, these are all projections, but the thing we were pretty sure of is that if we prematurely did it, it would likely rebound, and that's one thing you did not want to happen. New England Journal of Medicine, days ago, saying the same thing. Don't you think it's really funny that everyone's getting video that Italy's massive deaths have been leaking out that it was nothing but, you know, the average deaths? Do you realize how many people die on Earth every day? They're simply slapping the, the COVID virus tag on them so they can continue moving this forward. I keep getting emails asking me about somebody I had on live streams all the time, and I'm not going to have them on anymore because they're making videos explaining to you how you can just ignore this, how none of this, how you can use the law to get out of this. I'm afraid I'm going to have to break it to you, people. This entire thing is illegal. They've shut down the entire world and they're continuing to extend it and extend it and extend it. And you know how we know they're watching? Because they're putting out anti-troop movement propaganda like the one I showed you yesterday. They sparked many questions to us on social media. So take a look. Air 7 capturing these images of a train full of armored tanks. Several of you reached out to us wondering if the transport of these tanks was tied to the coronavirus emergency. We reached out to the military and learned that no, this is not tied to coronavirus. These are armored vehicles. They were part of a battalion that returned from the Middle East. They arrived in Point, Port, Port Wyneme and are now being sent back to Texas. And are now being sent back to Texas. And suddenly there's no more video of troop movements. And yet I'm still getting emails showing me pictures of troop vehicles showing up overnight. Why do you think they're doing this when the main person telling the president what to do is telling you one thing, and then in real medical magazines, he's telling you exactly what I've been telling you. Do you see what I'm saying? You can think you're going to file a lawsuit or use the law to get around this, but I don't know how long it's going to take for you to understand this is entirely illegal. The entire premise is a complete and utter lie. COVID-19, just like the medical professional told me when I first started telling you this, told me the same thing. And Dr. Fauci is telling you that rather it's not a, it's, it's unlike a SARS or MERS or, you know, or any of the other things they conjure up. Do you see what I'm saying? This is all absolute and total bullshit. The fact that the president is even... Where is it? I lost the link. My bad. The fact that the president is even extending this another 30 days, and people are actually getting arrested for it in the soft states. Florida is mostly elderly people. New England got completely shut down with checkpoints on the highway because it's mostly educated people that think guns are stupid and guns kill people even without people behind the trigger. Do you follow what I'm saying? I'm going to leave you all the links. You may want to get educated on this yourself and ask yourself, why is he writing in real professional journals that Americans don't read? Why is he writing this disease has a 0.1% chance of killing people? Those are his words, not mine. And then on the news, he's telling us this disease isn't done spreading yet. Well, if this disease is simply more akin to a seasonal flu, why are we in lockdown? Why are the actual death rate numbers so way down? Why are every single video coming out of every hospital, every triage unit showing them empty, totally empty? You may want to figure this out. 
they extended it for a reason. Because it's working so well, why spook the sheep when you can simply slow it down and continue to drag it out? These are supposed to be elected public servants that have suddenly told you, you don't have your God-given right to go outside or do what you want without fear of being arrested. I'm doing it. You should too. This is total, complete, utter nonsense. And their own medical paperwork, if you bother to read them, prove that. I'm out.